has happened this week. Yes, you it's know, been a big week. We got a America. new president. Yeah, Hello. we got a new president. So, yeah, that was a big deal. Mm -hmm. uh, so one of the most viral moments from President Joe Biden's inauguration was, I'm sure you've seen this, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders and that picture of him where he's uh, like, you know, sitting like we this. Have it right okay, there. <laughs> and he's crossing his arms. <laughs> this I mean, it is all over the place, Bridget. It the is mask, so... the gloves, the posture. It's like, I think he was just cold, yeah. but everybody puts their own take on it, like, right? Oh, I... you know. <laughs> so one of our, um, actually, you know, one of our, someone in our web department, one of our coworkers, uh, took that picture, photoshopped it behind me and John in the studio, and it's so funny. It looks, I mean, like he just perfectly is sitting there I... in the WSLS studio. When I saw that, I took a double take. I was like, wait, what? And then... <laughs> Like to even think that way, I was embarrassed. Like, no, there's not Bernie's not there. But yeah, and then local businesses have followed suit too, posting pictures on social media. This one from Big Lick Brewing Company. They have a caption on their Instagram. They're saying, "I'm once again asking for white bronco." <laughs> and we want to show you another one from Grandin. Uh, this is Gray Gro Gray Goose, rather in Grandin. Uh, say that three times fast. Uh, their caption said, "Waiting for us to reopen, like Bernie Sanders <laughs> sitting that, that, outside." That. He does look like he's just waiting, like uh -huh. just. Passing the time. That's the funny. I think one of the funniest ones, Bridget, that I've seen was, you know, it basically said that Bernie was like, yeah, I'm going to go to Joe's thing at like 11 and I'm going to swing by there. <laughs> and he's got other things to do that day. Right. Because they talked about his wardrobe, too. And really, this is just blown up. Yeah. Uh, and when I say wardrobe, it's because, you know, he just went with like the coat, and, you know, and Michelle Obama's all decked out in this uh -huh. beautiful. So, yeah, so many comments. And now there's a bobblehead. Thanks to this National Bobblehead Hall of Fame and Museum. It'll have like the entire ensemble, and it's, I guess it's twenty five dollars. Yeah, so <laughs> I mean, yeah. all of it: mask, coat, mittens. Uh, you know, twenty five bucks plus shipping. That is so funny. So that way, if you want to commemorate it, if you think it's funny enough to order, or we could just have the pictures because um, they're funny. No matter like what your political affiliation is, this was yes. just funny. It was just funny. Yeah, and everybody's like, "Oh, Bernie!" Like. <laughs> People call him Burn, you know, like, oh, Burn, yeah. you know, uh, yeah. So anyway, on top of the inauguration this week, uh, we also had Dolly Parton and Betty White. They had birthdays. So Dolly's now 75. Betty's 95. Betty said she spent her day feeding some ducks that visit her, which I thought was funny. Lindsay, you're a huge Dolly fan. So did you make her a cake or what did you do? No, 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 no. <laughs> but I did share, uh, you can go to my Facebook page, a I, picture of Bernie Sanders sitting in Dolly's chair um, from Steel magnolias that one probably <laughs> is my favorite right here i think that is hysterical oh. i laughed so hard uh one of our photogs greg sent that to me i um, love it and i, I thought I of you too so happy birthday to dolly and betty and i just love that basically they're like you know what you can be at this age golden years uh 75 99 and um you know still be you know in the spotlight doing your thing